What is going on guys? Welcome to the Nerd Collective. This is Rob and today we're going to be talking about the recent edition of Plex for the Xbox One and the 360. Plex is currently available for free for both Xbox One and the 360. This is going to be just a quick video of very briefly explaining what Plex is and how it's going to be useful to you. More in-depth videos on setups can be found all over YouTube so I'm not going to include that here. So what is Plex? Plex is a media server that lets you stream your local content over the internet to virtually any device. This is also possible over the same local network via DLNA. So what does all that mean? Well, basically what you can do is set up a free server with Plex and you're essentially going to be able to stream your own content, be it videos, music, or pictures from your local machine to another device. This is obviously very helpful if you have a lot of content that you wanna view on a device other than your computer. So while you're gaming, you can snap Plex on your Xbox One. It will connect to your preset up server and you can stream any content from your computer to your Xbox or any other DLNA enabled device in your home over a local network. Again, this is also achievable over a global network as well. Plex has both a free Android and iPhone app, so you can even view your content on mobile devices. The only caveat is to do so, you need to pay for their full app, which costs $5. That may or may not be worth it to you considering using Plex to view your content will use up your data if you don't have unlimited data. I don't have any hard numbers as to exactly how much data is consumed since I myself haven't pulled the trigger on the full app. So let's jump into a very quick setup of what needs to be done to get a server going. Again, more in-depth tutorials can be easily found on YouTube to explain the intricacies of Plex and how to get the most mileage out of your server. So essentially this is what we're gonna be looking at here is once you actually have launched your server, it's gonna look very similar to this, obviously without the content here. But basically what you're gonna do is once you've actually created your server, you'll go ahead and name your server, in this case, you know, Rob server. Uh, this will be where your server is actually going to be listed. And what you can then do is by clicking the little add button here, you can basically set up the type of library that you want to have. So in this case, I have already set up TV shows over here, um, but I'm going to show you what that looks like. So what I will do is I'm going to remove my TV folder and I'll reset that up so you can see how that's done. So here's what you'll do. You'll go ahead and add a library. We're going to go ahead and choose TV shows. We'll leave it labeled TV shows. That's fine. And what you're going to do is you're going to browse for your for a media folder. So I have it located currently in my F drive. Obviously, your C drive is going to be your default drive. So now what you're going to do, these are going to be all of the folders on my F drive currently. And I have a folder labeled TV on my F drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and select the folder. And we're not actually going to click on any of the content in here right now. We have the Avatar The Legend of Korra and Batman Beyond, the first season. So what you're gonna do is you're not going to select either of these, we're just pointing it to, uh, this is gonna be the file path, we're just pointing it to our F drive and then the TV folder. And once we've pointed Plex at the folder that we wanna pull from, we're gonna go ahead and press add. It's gonna go ahead and save our, our um, it's gonna go ahead and save our path. We're gonna go ahead and add library. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna go ahead and basically scan that folder and it's gonna populate this section with what it finds in that folder. So that's why you don't wanna actually select an individual file. We wanna let it pull from everything that's in that folder currently. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna, you know, it's gonna fetch some metadata and it's gonna populate with some different art from the internet. So this is actually fetched automatically and not something that you have to provide. It's gonna go ahead and populate that cover art for you automatically. So that's a really essentially, you know, at the at the heart of it, that's really all you got to do to set up a Plex server. Um, what you can do is you have different server settings that you can adjust here. Um, you have, you know, your server settings, user uh, and devices. Again, for any more in-depth look on what to mess with and how to exactly utilize the server and get the most mileage out of it, Definitely check out some tutorials on YouTube. They are everywhere and you will find all sorts of really good ones. So essentially that's what you're gonna do. So if you wanna do a movie library, TV, music, photos, whatever, it's gonna be the same process. You're gonna have a specific folder with all the movies that you've downloaded or whatever it is and you're going to select the library you want. You're gonna point Plex in the direction of the folder where all that media is saved in 
and then it's going to go ahead and populate that library with the information that you've chosen. So basically from there, you can go ahead and you'll select TV shows and it'll populate what's available. So we have Batman Beyond. It'll break it down into the seasons, obviously just season one. It'll give you all of the episodes here. You can also change the view to details. Um, so you'll get synopsis of each episode. And you can also change it to a list view, giving you ratings and whatnot. So that, again, that's a very basic basic look at the server and how to set it up and how to add the libraries. So we're going to jump back over to the Xbox just to kind of show you what it looks like on the Xbox itself. All right, so here we are back on the Xbox side of things. So what you're going to want to do, head over to the store, download Plex. Again, it's free. Once you've actually downloaded and installed the app, it'll go ahead and have you sign in and you're going to go ahead and sign in with the server information or the account information that you created with Plex on their website. Um, and again, it's gonna look very similar to what we were just looking at. So here it's going to give you the list of your libraries. And again, right now we just have TV shows. Um, it'll also tell you the recently added information. Again, we only just have Batman Beyond and the Avatar Legend of Korra. So what you wanna do is you can go ahead and pick between your libraries. You have your TV shows, in this case anyway. We can browse and we will go ahead and do that. That'll show us what we have available in TV shows. So we can go ahead and select Batman. We'll select season one, select our episode, and then play. And it'll go ahead and play the content straight from the computer that you have set up. So that'll go ahead and play whatever it is you want. Um, you can also snap this. This is a snappable um, app. So while you're gaming, you can go ahead and snap it. Go ahead and choose Plex and it'll go ahead and snap whatever you're playing. So you can go ahead and snap it while you are uh, gaming. And this way you can watch whatever content it is on your computer over your Xbox and as you can see there is no lag whatsoever depending on what's going on if there's any encoding going on that can cause some lag over the stream so basically it's it's super simple to, to set up and this way you can view whatever content you want from your computer uh, over your local network or again over a global network to basically any device that will support Plex. So guys, that's about it. That about does it for this episode. Again, this was just a short video kind of showing off what Plex is, how to use it, what it's good for, why it's useful, and it's awesome that it's free. So I really do hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. If you did, please consider subscribing to the Nerd Collective and we will see you guys in the next video.